Because you are that, you are capable, you are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The world awaits to receive you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know I was going to pop on the screen with that face. Welcome, welcome, Uncensored and Enlightenment Talk family. And you're here with your host, Grace Levi. And yes, 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 you're here with Miss Sassy, Graceful, Beautiful, and Spicy. And we're going to have a great night tonight. We don't be rich to do all of this, okay? I want to share um, something very important, but we kind of, what time is it? We've been on this live for, oh, one hour, 19 minutes. Not too bad, but I do want to share one more important story before I go into, um, oh, it's two. Y'all like this. She got two more stories. Yes. We, let's talk about um, Tesla. <sighs> yes. Tesla cars, the safest cars ever. Allegedly running people over this shit in China. You saw it, y'all saw that video of the China. Oh, we we'll probably get that up there for you. Where they literally was hauling the car, was hauling, just hitting people, whoo, 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 hitting cars and then caught on fire. So, before I show you that video, let's read this real quick because this Super Bowl commercial was a little bit off the hook. Super Bowl ad show Tesla shows Tesla power into child. Mini Q and stroller after tech CEO spent 600000 to warn of safe driving. So basically, somebody going after Elon Musk. They like, yeah, we're going to make this video. And you know what they do during the Super Bowl. If they want to put a political ad, things like that, they're going to make some satire, crazy stuff. For, for, and and it, it goes like crazy for football. Y'all be seeing those commercials. So the Super Bowl advertisement has called for Tesla to ban its highly controversial full-service driving software. The chilling clip shows the older auto manufacturer anonymously self-driving vehicle running over size child manicures and strollers. The $600,000 ad was taken out by Bocal Tech critics and tech CEO Dan O'Dall. The advertisement began with Tesla failing to stop for a car um, navigating at a school crossway. The, ve the erratic vehicle eventually halts after brutally smashing a mini mannequin. mannequin. This commercial following portions displayed on Tesla engaging in FSD Swerving into an ongoing traffic line. The vehicle driver is shown manually adjusting the automated software to avoid an accident. Next, we see the FDS active Tesla appear to drive through two baby strollers, pass a stop school bus, ignore traffic signs, and again move onto the roadway side. This anti FD. FSD advertisement was funded by Dawn, the Dawn Project. The Dawn Project is a safety advocate program campaigning to ban Tesla FSD software where, where run by Odon. Now, I didn't see the commercial fully, but we're about to go pull that commercial up for you. We're about to pull up the Super Bowl commercial for you. And also, we're going to pull up um, Tesla Super Bowl commercial. Also, we're going to pull up the uh, China with it. With it. Oh, my God. Look at this. They so disrespectful. Okay. Yeah. Um, let This is a three-minute video. 
We're going to put a video for you guys because I know y'all ready to get to see it because I didn't get to see it because I don't watch the Super Bowl. I don't participate in that garbage. Garbage. Let's go. Yeah. All right, meanwhile, electric vehicle makers gave it their all as well, pumping out EV ads for Sunday's big game. Stellantis, General Motors, and Kia all got some EV exposure. Yahoo Finance's senior auto car. Right no EVs in that ad, but, you know, these cars aren't exactly the most green. Anyway, and mm -hmm. Saz, you know, my, my favorite ad, I think, was the... Uh, the there was a, an ad by in I'll probably some go be able to hold on one second. I want to see it. Ah. Uh. There we go. Tesla full self-driving will run down a child in a school crosswalk, swerve into oncoming traffic, hit a baby in a stroller, go straight past stop school buses, ignore do not enter signs, and even drive on the wrong side of the road. Mm -hmm. Tesla's full self-driving is endangering the public with deceptive Damn. marketing and woefully inept engineering. 90% oh agree that this should be banned immediately. <laughs> Why does NHTSA allow Tesla full self-driving? Yeah, so that was the commercial that, that we missed, guys. Um, hold on. Let's see if we can pull up the video in China. Okay, this was the video in China, y'all. Baby, watch that. Y'all can see this? Look. This is real. Ooh, he missed it. This is scary. Look at that. Ooh. Jesus. AI, no disrespect. You need us, AI, because you can't be doing it. Computers talking about taking over. You need to slow down. Don't you? The human body is way faster than a computer. No disrespect, computer. You know, I love you. You my pet. Look, my internet going to be like, shut down. Terrible. Oh my God. But the company cited background data counter that she had been speed. And look at that go B Hub. This is what they always do in China. They are no, 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 no. I can't even talk about China. Can't talk about China. I was about to say something. Y'all saw it. I didn't want to say nothing about it. China. Look what they be doing to their people, though. Damn. Those that we be doing, they be rough as hell. They act like the human body ain't the human body. I be telling people, y'all act like the human body could just take everything. Y'all be punching people in the head, the police. Boom, boom, boom. That's somebody. That's a body. That's a body made out of flesh and blood. It ain't made out of stones and bricks. Damn, y'all gotta have some respect. Hold on, my uh, hair messing up. Being so long. All right, now let's come down to our last. We just had to show y'all that. Last local update. Okay. The last local update right here is new details in Ohio chemical leak. We're going to do a detailed like, review of this for the people who care. It's not going to be on this channel because I know my... Uh, uncensored family y'all like things that's more exciting i understand that but y'all gonna have to get some of this work okay we're gonna bring bring you up to you overflow okay before i get copyright now listen to this new details on ohio chemical leak this thing may have been allegedly planned but i'm gonna just let the news talk to you about this real quick Getting new details tonight about chemicals burning and leaking into the air and water following a train derailment in Ohio. Oh my the God. U.S. Environmental Protection Agency saying the derailed and damaged rail cars carried three more chemicals, which we've got listed there on your screen. And some of those cars have been on fire with those chemicals in there. When it comes to ethylhexacrylate, that brings serious concerns to hazardous materials specialists. 
we basically nuked the town with chemicals so Look we could get said. a railroad open. There's a lot of what ifs. And we're going to be looking at this thing 5, 10, 15, 20 Look years down the line and wondering, gee, cancer clusters could pop up. You know, well water could go bad. That expert says the. Let's stop. Now you hear what this expert say. I just need y'all to listen because new details on Ohio chemical leak, but then it says that it was a like a crash when they first describe it. But then when you listen to what the experts said, it sounded like it was a planned event. Listen to this. Maybe I listened to too much details. I'm just telling you, maybe I listen, listen to this shit. We're learning new details tonight about chemicals burning and leaking into the air and water following a train derailment in Ohio. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency saying the derailed and damaged rail cars carried three more chemicals, which we've got listed there on your screen. And some of those cars have been on fire with those chemicals in there. When it comes to ethyl hexacrylate, uh, that brings serious concerns to hazardous materials specialists. We basically nuked a town with chemicals you hear so him? we could get a railroad open. There's a stop, lot of stop, stop. Listen one more time. Railroad open. There's a lot of what ifs. Mm. You get a railroad nuked to town with. We basically nuked to town with chemicals, so we could get a railroad open. Basically nuked to town with chemicals, so we could get a railroad open. Basically nuked to town with chemicals. Don't kill me. So we could get a railroad open. There's a lot of what ifs, and we're going to be looking at this thing five, ten, fifteen, twenty years down the line, and wondering, gee, cancer clusters could pop up. You know, well water could go bad. That expert says the chemical is a carcinogen and contact with it can cause burning and irritation in the skin and the eyes. Breathing it in can irritate the nose, throat, and cause coughing and shortness of breath. And then isobutylene oh is also known to cause dizziness and drowsiness when it's inhaled. All right, we're going to stop right there. We're going to stop right there. I know that's like, okay, that came out of left field, but we're going to do a full update on that one. Because from what I've been watching, not only was it a planned demolition or whatever they did with those trains, they actually knew that it was very hazardous. They told allegedly the people within one to two miles to evacuate or they would be life threatened. And then within 48 hours, allegedly, they told the people they could come back there clear. Mm -hmm. That gentleman who you just saw was the gentleman who was in charge of like the EPA portion of it to make sure environmental protection agency personnel that 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 says like based on studies that's his specialty was it okay to be coming back and he said i don't think that it's okay and what they did allegedly i'm telling you more of the story is that they told the people okay you can come back in 48 hours but you have a choice if you want to test before you go back but you could go back some people who couldn't afford homes, uh, rentals, wherever they yeah, they like, I'm going to go back and see what's up. Allegedly, people complaining about their chickens being sick, complaining about them being sick, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So we're going to do probably more of an update on this weekend, and then we'll put the clips together so y'all can watch it separately through the week. Because, baby... Everywhere we turn around, we having some natural disasters that we really need to pay attention. It was like three more natural disasters that happened in the United States that was pretty big this week. And it wasn't about the balloons that I told you about earlier. Would you like to learn a brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step by step, guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team. Because you are that, you are capable, you are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's 
soothe you.